Alright, so this is going to be the Prey Any% percent speedrun tutorial. Hopefully the game doesn't fucking hardlock me again, that was awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to start a new game and um, set the difficulty to easy. Um, doesn't matter what character you play as, um, so male or female doesn't really matter. Um, now, there's going to be, or rather, I should probably start with, um, there's going to be a cutscene right here. Don't, don't move your mouse at all um, until after we make a manual save. Otherwise, you will have to reset your save because your run would be invalid unless you make a manual save. And like, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend like moving your your mouse trying to get it back to perfect. Just make another save game um, if that does happen but what you can do is you can just not touch the mouse um, until you're in uh, like the menus and stuff so I'm gonna let this cutscene play out once the game finishes loading um, so if it'll ever Good start morning, playing Morgan. there we go today is Monday March 15th 2032 There's going to be a little saving icon in, in the right side of the screen. Once that pops up, you're, you're able to pause the game and then save, make a manual save. So it's coming up right now. So once it pops up right here, just pause the game, create save game, and you're good. This will be your backup hey, save um, up. for whenever daylight. you need to reset. Um, to pick you up. and whatnot. Just a few tests. Um, I should mention, Don't forget to wear your suit. you are able to, you if soon. you are in the tutorial, um, you oh, are able to listen, make a quick save uh, right here, and then reload with your quick load button. Don't forget um, to wear your suit. See you soon. What? What did... Don't forget to wear your oh, suit. I saved too late, I guess. See you soon. Um, oh, listen. Uh, doesn't really matter. Really great you so, decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up more. Yeah, uh, like if you're in the times. tutorial, you can just quick save right here and then quick load to reload. Um, but if you're not in the tutorial, you just have to reload your manual save and then you can save again. And then, um, actually, I know why that doesn't work. So, load the manual save. Um, like that. Hey, Morgan. Wake um, up. And then if you, again, daylight. need to reload, just quick load. Send the helicopter um, to pick you up. But you're gonna. Steam overlay, please. <laughs> um, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna grab one of these chairs. Um, what I like to do is I like to run over here and slide twice, and then quickly grab this uh, this chair right there. Like old times. Um, next, you're going to want to throw the chair into this corner, and it's gonna get stuck. Um, so at the peak of your jump, you're just gonna toss it like so. Next, you're going to climb up on top of this shelf and jump onto the door. Um, now, sometimes this can fall, um, so uh, you just kind of want to walk into it. Um, I'm kind of stuck in it now, so if I jump, I clip through the ceiling. Uh, now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to turn around and aim for this light. And right behind this light, there's a very small portion that you can um, sprint jump off of. And you need to get that sprint jump uh, to grab onto this ledge. There's a little ledge right here. kind of see through the map. Can I scope in? No, I can't. Um, a tiny little gap right here that you can clip through, so like that. Um, hold sprint when you make the jump and run up here. If you don't hold sprint, you don't keep running, you'll fall down there and you're gonna have to climb up or reset or whatnot. So just watch the inputs for that. Um, doing it fast is really difficult, so um, that was really slow. So just get a feel for it. Um, and yeah, so then you're gonna come up here and run into this door. Now, don't go past these warning signs right here because there's a trigger we need to bypass. Um, and if we hit the trigger, this door in front of us right there will lock. Um, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna come into this corner, flush into this corner, and you're gonna look at this gray, uh, this darker grayish, whitish line. You're gonna put your dot on the right edge of it, and then you're going to jump. And if you hold uh, W, as you can see, I'm kind of just floating now like that. You want to jump and get stuck in the wall and then you're going to very quickly let go of W, press S and then jump right after and you'll be able to climb up there. So 
if you watch the inputs, if I wasn't looking. There we go. So you'll be able to climb up here. Um, it's a little difficult. You, you have to do it really fast. Um, but once you're up here, uh, run forward. Um, and you're going to want to fall off once you've gotten uh, right here uh, with this little gap. Because if you fall too soon, this door will still lock. So, right in here. So, okay. You need to have a save with this locker containing two Psy Hypos. Um, I only got one. So, if you don't have two Psy Hypos in here, you will have no to, has been able to stop the delete the entire save file, start a new game, and farm Just a little for this, uh, this locker to have two Psy Hypos. Um, you will have to repeat everything we've already done. It will take a little bit of time, but uh, yeah, I already have a save with two Psy Hypos, so I'm going to load that, but if if you're just getting into this, um, you will have to probably reset until you get this. However, say that we did um, get two Psy Hypos, um, and you're doing a run, since we made this manual save earlier, you can just reload this manual save, and you'll always have the two Psy Hypos. So the way items generate are, once the map loads, the items generate. So if we generate the map and save right at the beginning of the run, and this locker has two Psy Hypos, we'll always have that. So once you get it once, you're good. Um, so I will now load my save with two Psy Hypos so that I can actually finish the run. Yeah, okay. So. This is essentially what you're going to have to do um, if you don't get the two side hypos. You just have to go through new game and all that and sit through the cutscene again, make a manual save and everything. So it's a bit tedious, but um, but yeah, once you get it, like I said, you're good. Um, as long as your save doesn't corrupt, <laughs> which can happen, um, I think, still. I'm... We currently play on like a mix mash of patches, so I have files from 1.0, 1.02, and 1.03. I think is how they have like their numbering system or some weird shit like that. It's really weird. Anyway, hey um, Morgan, wake up! We're burning daylight. Said the helicopter to pick you up. It's that's what it's gonna test. look like fast. Um, that was actually soon. slow. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, so. Pretty great you decided to come on board. You're gonna come in here. We're gonna shake and you're gonna grab these two Psyapos once you get like to save with it. So, then we're gonna turn around, come through this door, turn to the right right here, and there's a key card on the table. Grab that, turn around, and jump over this wall, and unlock this door. You can actually press the button from, like, no one has been able to stop right here, so you can just spam. Since they broke um, containment. And then I locked it. <laughs> uh, just, just run through the door and follow this path, and grab the glue cannon, this is very important. Um, if you're starting out, I guess you can take one of these, but they're really not necessary. You have plenty of ammo. Um, you have plenty of ammo. Um, so you really don't need to take these, um, unless you just aren't confident enough with the, uh, the glue. Um, I don't need it, so I'll just keep running. Um, so just follow this path, and you will see me sliding, um, by the way. What that does is, if you watch my stamina bar, I'm sprinting and it's going down, and now it's not. Every time I slide, the stamina bar stops moving. Um, and sliding and jumping retain your sprinting speed, but it doesn't actually use any stamina, so you can go farther distances, essentially, with one stamina bar without actually having to let it recharge. So, that's why you'll see me do that sometimes. But, you're gonna run over here. <laughs> Mm, wow. <laughs> gonna run over here. That fucking hurt. I choked. Um, and you're going to, uh, there, you're gonna jump up here. Normally you would get this little climbing animation, um, but there's a way to skip it that saves, um, 0.8 seconds, I believe, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in a run this short, it, it's, it's a lot. So, the way I do it, is I jump on top of this and then jump off and then arc my mouse like this. Um, you can do it off of like jumping off of that, but I have no idea how. Never been able to do it. 
So this is the way I do it, like that. Um, and you want to flick real quick, uh, otherwise you'll still get the animation of climbing. So I'll do it one more time. Like that. Then you're just going to come to this button and confirm to go to lobby. Now the reason why the glue cannon is so important is uh, with the fact that objects can push you through walls, um, like in the tutorial, we can now do that pretty much anywhere uh, with the glue cannon, which is really awesome. So what you're going to do is you are going to, once you spawn in, turn to the right and shoot a glue on the wall, and then uh, two glue on the wall and you'll be able to essentially climb out of bounds. Uh, so I will show that now. So I spawned in, make a quick save just in case I mess this up. I shoot a glue about right there. It doesn't really matter too much where this one's at. Um, this one does matter though. You need to shoot it at this, uh, this gold uh, bar right here, but in the corner, make sure not to hit the glass because it'll just bounce off. So about right there, climb up this one. Sometimes it won't let you climb. Um, you have to like, jump twice, it's really weird. Um, but walk into the corner. And then once you're in this corner, just aim right there and hold shift and W and you'll land right here. Um, pretty much every single time. So I landed about right here. You're gonna want to run off of this uh, corner right here. Just sprint off of it in that direction. You will always survive. Um, so like that, you'll land here or there, somewhere here. But you will always survive. Um, you can actually negate the fall damage by landing up on top of this little thing right here, right above me. Uh, but if you take the hit, it really doesn't matter. Next, we're going to come around this corner. Now, this part might be a little confusing. There is an invisible wall in front of us, and if we sprint straight at it, for whatever reason, it pushes us to the left, and it gives us a little bit of speed. And we need that speed to grab this pipe, because if we grab this pipe, we negate fall damage. And we have to jump from this pipe down into this elevator shaft right here. So I will do that now. So just run straight forward. And you want to grab the pipe. It's really easy. Um, it looks much harder than it is. Um, next, you're going to want to jump around this pipe into the elevator shaft, like I said. So just run and jump. And you need to go around around this. I took the hit. You don't want to land here. Uh, you want to keep going. You want to jump around this though because this is actually solid as you can see. Um, so we're jumping through this wall right here. So when you come around you want to swing around and then come into this into this corner and if you land in this corner you won't take any fall damage as seen there. So um, I have less health than I normally should um, but you want to come out of that corner there and come over here now. You're gonna have to make a triangle um, with the glue. For whatever reason this works, I have no idea why. Um, but you need to be as far off of this, uh, this here. Like I'm floating right now. Uh, there's a little lip, an invisible lip that you need to stand on. Otherwise you can just shoot glue onto it like that. Um, so the base of the triangle needs to be flush up against this little uh, crack right there, but not on this wall. So about right there and about right there. Then you need to make the tip right there. That might not work, um, but we will see in a second here. Um, next, you're going to run through this wall and then kind of swing around, and there's like a little ledge you can bounce off of. Let's see if I can get up there without actually falling. You want to run towards that corner, and it'll push you backwards, and you won't take any fall damage, so... I messed it up. <laughs> I'm not used to doing this slow, I'm used to just turning around and going for it, but if you land right there, you'll negate fall damage, and it'll bounce you back to right here. It's not that big of a deal. So, oh yeah, this should actually work quite well. Um, Next, you're going to want to aim towards this little dot here, so one, two, three, and just a little bit under it, so about right there, you want to climb up if it lets me climb. Oh my god, this game is so weird with its climbing. Okay, that's why. If you...
if you shoot too high, it won't let you climb, and if you do get the climb, you'll just slide off. Uh, if you, that happens, just reload. Back here, this should work even better. See, that's what I was saying. You need to get up on the lip a little bit more. That should work perfectly. And that's what that should look like. So about right there. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. So you want to get up on top of this, and if I shoot a glue right here, it should pop me through. Yep. Um, right here. And you want to just go through the door over there. Um, the next map is very straightforward. It's life support. You just literally <laughs> run from door to door, um, passing up three uh, phantoms, I believe they're called. Now, these phantoms can be useful. They can actually boost you to the door. Most of the time, they won't. I've only ever had it happen twice out of 4,900 resets. And they can also push you backwards. So, to be completely honest, don't worry about them. If you get the boost, that's an awesome time save. If you don't, oh well. Um, but we're going to run straight forward and just follow this path. It's really this simple for this map. Just jump, jump, jump. And now we're here. I'm going to slide to save some stamina for the next map. Go to Cargo Bay. And Cargo Bay has a very interesting clip. Um, you trick the game into thinking you're not in anti-grab when you actually are. So the game takes you out of anti-grab for a second, puts you back in anti-grab, and for whatever reason, it clips you out of bounds. Um, so I will do that in a minute here once the game loads. But uh, we have to take a very small path um, there first. So once you spawn in, you're going to look to the left this way. And you're going to jump off of the rail to this rail here. And we're going to come through this door. Now, um, you're going to come into this anti-grav, and you're going to fly straight up. And you're going to aim right here. Okay, you're going to aim at these, like, grates right here. I want to hit this. I hit too low, I think. Nope, I clipped through. Okay, so this is where I'm at. This is the way I came through. Once you've clipped or done the anti-grav thing, don't move. Um, don't touch anything while the anti-grav is flinging you about. You'll actually get stuck most of the time, um, which sucks, and you're going to have to, like, reload or shoot. It's really weird sometimes. It, it, it's weird. Um, but you're going to turn around and aim at these stars and kind of just go straight forward at that, like, gap. And then you can just look for this circle and interact with it and go to guts. So that that gap between the orange uh, orange bar thing, I don't know what it actually is. That's the indicator that you want to be looking for. Um, so now this is one of the hardest things um, in the speedrun is getting past these three enemies. Uh, two corrupted engineers and a technopath, all of which that can stun lock you and instantly kill you. So I'm going to do it very fast because you have to do it fast, and if you don't do it fast, again, they will stun lock you. So I'm going to hold W and shift so I get a I get the thrust boost, and I'm going to go slightly to the right so that I can angle myself to go out of uh, the door in front of me at the right angle and then hit a conveyor belt. Sounds like a lot. Kind of just mimic what I do. This is going to take some practice to get used to. Um, but yeah. And then it's just follow the path after. So Over here. I think I did that actually really badly. Nope, I got through. Okay. So once you've gotten past this, you just kind of want to bounce off of the conveyor belt once your speed in the bottom right hits uh, 10 or 9.99. I want to come up here and slow down right up here. I want to get as many boosts off the conveyor belt as possible and don't go as high as I did. So I'm about to hit 10 and I need to boost off. I'm going to hit 10 again, boost off. And boost off again. And again. And again. And I'm not going to do the last one because I boosted too high. But you're going to come towards this door, slow down, and 
you're going to come through this door. Next, we're going to grab this Typhon lore that's on the ground right here. Right there, that's all we need. And then go to the Arboretum. Now this map has the uh, hardest trick uh, in the form of grabbing a fabrication plan in the middle of the air, like mantling on top of it. Um, alternatively, if you don't like that, you can shoot glue and do the same thing. The glue gives you a little bit more surface area um, to do that, uh, to, to, gra to grab. Uh, but I will show both ways. Um, but before that, there is a glue skip right at the beginning here. So you're going to spawn in, and you're going to turn a little bit to the left, and we're going to jump up on top of this box. Next, you're going to sprint jump off of this corner right there um, into this little gap and you'll grab the ledge. Next, you are going to shoot a glue there, and you need to shoot a glue right under this um, white bar, but in this corner, so about right there. You jump on the glue, jump on this glue. Oh, no, I think I shot it too high, maybe. Probably did. Yeah, I did. If you shoot it too high, it'll just slide off, which is not what you want. So right there, and right there. That should work, though. Yeah, okay. So once you've gotten into the corner, um, that's the door that you're supposed to go through. Just turn into the, uh, turn up left into this corner right here and shoot a glue and it'll push you through. Don't move here. You don't want to go forward, otherwise you're going to fall down there. Um, but from here, just jump straight up and you'll grab the bench. Next, just follow this path, grab the shoddy, jump over this right here, grab the pistol that's right there, and grab this side hypo. Next, we're going to go through this door right here, and we're going to shoot a glue onto a wall um, parallel with this door, so about right there um, at the door, like right past the door. Don't do it too soon, though, because um, saving uh, lags the game for a little bit, the autosave that when you walk in this room, and your glue shot goes lower than it's supposed to, so wait like half a second um, when doing this, uh, otherwise you're going to have to probably... Uh, destroy the glue with the pistol and shoot it again. So I'm going to come in here. There's the There was the lag right there. Shoot a glue there. And you're going to climb up on top of this. And then we're going to sprint off of this and just jump there. Um, there's a little platform behind this wall that you can fall onto and you can just grab the, the out-of-bounds thing right there. You'll see in a second. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, there we go. Just sprint jump here. Now, if you, again, if you do fall here, just run and jump. Not a big of a deal. Um, but you're going to come down here. Slide under this, because you can get stuck. And it's a little bit faster to slide. Now, this is where you can either take the uh, easy way or the hard way. I'm going to show the hard way first. Um, because it's a little bit harder. <laughs> and it's faster. Uh, so I recommend learning this, even though, again, it's much harder. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprint, and right before I get parallel with this, I'm going to press D and fall off here, and I'm going to try and grab... I'm not used to pressing these buttons. Uh, I'm going to try to grab this, uh, this fabrication plan. I'm going to mantle on top of it, hopefully. So... Stay right here. Like that. Okay. Next, you would want to grab this prototype null wave transmitter plane. Make sure you're standing on the arming keypad, which is the one I'm standing on right now. The one I'm standing on is the one you don't want to grab at all, ever. Um, so, otherwise, one, you're going to fall, and two, well, you grab the wrong one. Um, grab the prototype null wave transmitter plane. And now you're going to want to sprint jump uh, at this little ledge over here. Don't aim for this corner, otherwise you're just going to fall down. You want to aim either just left of it or just right of it. It doesn't really matter. Um, so sprint jump, and there we go. I aim just left of it, and I grab the ledge. Now that's the hard way. Um, I'm going to reload and show the easy way um, for beginners, because that's actually, that trick is actually really hard. Um, so what you're going to do if you are new, you're going to lean, and then you're going to shoot a glue at the same one we grabbed onto. And then you're going to do the same thing, except you have more of 
an area to to mantle onto. It's a little bit easier. But the idea is still the same. Grab this Null Wave Transmitter plan. Um, if you can't grab this one, you can grab only the top one. Do not grab the bottom one. Grab the top one. The bottom one will spawn uh, one of the endings, bosses. It's really weird. I think it's. I guess you can consider it a boss. I don't really know. Um, but if you can't grab this one, grab the top one um, and nothing else. And again, same jump. Uh, to the same corner. Next, shoot a glue right there, and then just mantle on top of it. Then mantle up top here. Mantle up top here. Look up, and shoot a glue at the green thing. Mantle up top there. Now come around this corner, and we're going to clip through the wall right here. Right here. Swap to the pistol, and shoot the glass. Swap to the shoddy now. Um, in that order, uh, if you do that right, uh, the pistol lets you sprint after shooting faster than the shoddy does, so that's why I do it in that order. Next you're just going to follow this path, and I'm going to run straight through there, um, here, through the bushes, and I'm going to press this button in the rock face right there. Next there is a mimic down below here, and I'm going to, he looks like the glue gun, um, I'm going to sneak attack him, so just run down here, shoot him, grab everything from this guy. Make sure you grab the Nero mod, grab the stun gun, grab everything from here, grab all this. Now we're going to uh, we're going to decraft everything that isn't the glue cannon, the pistol, pistol ammo, and the glue canisters. So um, hold F and then dump everything else other than the score things, and then recycle. Once you see these little balls coming out, you can turn around and craft the Null Wave. And you're going to stand here. Now, you're going to, when you want to pick this up, uh, if you pick it up, you get frozen. But if you move backwards and then pick it up, you're able to walk backwards to this button, which saves a little bit of time. So you do this. It's really easy. You can just turn around and then travel the guts. This is um, another hard map. This map gives me the most trouble um, of any of the maps, honestly. I don't know why. Uh, it really shouldn't. But getting this map quickly is a little bit of a pain. So once you spawn in, we're going to run towards these little boxes here. And we're going to climb up on top. Oops. Then you're going to jump up there. Now you're going to shoot a glue. Um, right here, and climb up on top of it. Don't shoot it too high, because then you won't be able to climb up on top of it. Next, you're just going to shoot a glue right there, and you will clip through onto the ceiling right here. Um, so this is the way we need to go. We're going to just fall down here. Um, don't hit the blue. You want to thread the needle and not hit the blue. The blue stuff, it will give you... Anti-grav. Okay, see, I hit it too early. Um, you want to go, uh, go farther down. Um, you want to come to the right side of this glue, the glue, the glue here. And you want to come right in here, and you're able to clip through. Turn left. And come through here. And you're able to go through this door. And then just go through this uh, door to Psychotronics here. That was really slow, um, again, because I hit the anti-grav way too high. You want to hit it pretty much level with where you're supposed to clip in. Um, that is ideal. Um, in my PBE, I did that, so it's going to be really hard to beat, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. So, for Psychotronics, you need to just run straight forward. Um, so, when it says press any here button, uh, you need to be holding Shift and W. To sprint straight forward. You're going to run through enemies. They will hit you. They shouldn't kill you. Um, but if you don't do this, there's going to be an enemy that's going to spawn after that will. Um, hopefully the game doesn't hard lock me again, because that was really shitty the last time I recorded this. So let's hope. Um, so there we go. Okay, everything spawned. That was really weird. So just run through it. Um, and if you don't do that, there'd be an enemy right here. Um, that would spawn. Uh, that would spawn. Jeez, voice crack. Supply up here. 
um, and you want to place the null wave up on targets. top of the, uh, the head right here, or whatever, the uh, front. Um, once you've placed it, just run right back to where we came from. Let's come through here. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex is playing. Okay. Now we're going to do one more clip uh, to fly up guts quicker. Um, this one isn't as hard. At least this 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 anti grav section isn't as hard as um, the other two. So once you spawn, the way I do this uh, is I climb right here and then I shoot a glue there, and then I shoot another glue on this line right here, this little line right here. I'm going to save just in case I mess this up. It's so right there. And you're going to, no, not fall. <laughs> you're going to climb up on top and climb up on top of this. Uh, next, you're going to go flush into this corner as much as possible while holding uh, W and just shoot a glue and you will clip through. Um, make sure you're holding shift and W um, in that direction because you'll land into this anti-grav. Next, we need to fly straight up. So, straight up from where you clipped. Um, it's, it's a little bit disorientating, but this is, in fact, going up. Now, you do need to thread the needle again. Um, there's this blue box that I'm about to get inside. Just for a pr- oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. I'm going to hit the thing. So, you need to thread the needle. Make sure this black section is in the middle. Uh, between the two blue section there and there. Ooh, flying too high. You need to also be as low. If you aren't low enough, you won't see this and you will fly right past it. So you need to be inside of this blue box, but not too much. Otherwise, you're also going to take a hit from an invisible wall. Um, and not too much out either, because if you fly too much out, uh, you will lose your anti-grav. So I'm going to fly around this corner. And you're going to just clip through this wall, come around here, and we're going to do the same thing we did with the- oh, I missed it, I cannot believe I missed it. Um, we're going to do the same thing we did with the uh, conveyor belt earlier. Um, we're just going to ride it to the end using the same method um, of getting to 10 and then bouncing off. Coming up here. Okay. Now all you got to do is swap to your pistol run through this door and we're going to be killing January and starting the uh, or pressing the button to activate the null wave and that will be the run um, so yeah after this map loads it's going to be just run straight forward and grab some boxes in front of us and then we're just gonna like I said run to the end um, yeah that's really it the run is really short me explaining everything took a whole lot longer than it should have. Um, but yeah, just run straight forward, climb up here, up here, and just follow this path. Make sure you slide every once in a while, because you will be very uh, slim on stamina and you still need it. So, run this, run up here. I'm not gonna go down here. Run through this door. And, uh, yeah. Gotta do two more things. Kill January and press a button. And that's it. Uh, timer. The timer will stop uh, as soon as you see the cutscene uh, start playing. So, there's no... At, at the time of me recording this, there's no way to auto-end yet. Um, hopefully that becomes a thing. Um, I'm not sure if that will be. But, uh... Once you load in, run straight forward, and then turn to the right, right here. Shoot January. Run to the, the monitor. You made the right choice. Uh, press F, and you would the stop your timer link. now. And that is the run. If you guys have any questions, um, just put them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will link... I'll link the D-patch just in case, um, in the uh, description below uh, if we 
need that. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Uh, you might need that for if you're on a future patch than what I'm currently on right now. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, hope this helps, and uh, yeah.